Hello, hello, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 8 Developer Copy on Parallel Desktop 7. When you open up Parallel Desktop 7, you have three options. You can buy Windows 7, install Windows from a DVD or image file, or migrate from a PC. So we're just going to click install Windows from a DVD or image file. Next, we're going to hit continue. We're going to go to uh, this little drop down menu. We're going to hit choose file, and we're going to find our Windows 8.iso. If you don't know how to get this, I'll put a link to the video that I made showing you how to get this. So I have it under my documents folder right here. So I'm going to locate it, select it, and click open. Now we can click continue. And we, when it says automatic detection failed, please select your operating system. Make sure you click other windows. So go to more windows and go to other windows. And click OK. And now here's where you can name it. Uh, I'm going to name it Windows 8 and you're going to click continue. Okay, so I already uh, actually made Windows 8 using this. I'm just going to put Windows 8 number 2. There we go. So, when we uh, have Windows loaded up on our virtual machine, it'll go through the startup process um, right here and just let it do its thing. And I'll talk to you guys when I have it all set up. And now when the actual Windows setup is uh, complete, it should look like this. You have a, a fully functional operating system. Now, I have a different theme installed, and you probably have noticed that you'll have the, uh, if this is your first time, you'll have the basic uh, Windows theme. But this is fully functional. Um, I believe this is good for forever. Uh, if you go to your uh, can your uh, actual library person thing and you go to the computer and uh, get a system property it should uh, say that the product ID is not available so therefore you actually uh, do have um, Windows 8 forever now keep in mind this is a developer copy is it is uh, a, a basically a beta but it, it is to my knowledge, fully functional. I'll, I'll go ahead and open up uh, Safari web browser, which I uh, actually downloaded from Internet Explorer. I might add it. It your virtual machine speeds will vary b between, or well, it depends on the specs you've given it. I've given mine about uh, 1.5 meg, 1.5 gigs of RAM, uh, 64 gig expanding hard disk and I give it one core of uh, quad cores. So this is not going to be the fastest machine, but it's still definitely going to be uh, fully functional if you're uh, testing your apps. So I definitely do recommend you doing this if you wanted to, if you have Parallel Desktop 7 and you wanted to uh, run Windows. So everything's fully functional. As you can see, uh, the, I have the whole background changing thing here. The only thing that is really different from what I expect is going to be the release of Windows 8 is going to be like this. The only thing that's really different is uh, right down here it says developer preview, but that's basically the only thing that you may not like about this. So, um, yeah, I definitely definitely do recommend this. You have uh, your snap to window thing like Windows 7. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.